Hello, welcome to another stream. How about that? How about that? Bet you didn't expect that shit to happen, eh? Mm? So yeah, welcome. Today is Saturday, and that means today, according to the uh, skidoodle, skidoodle, we are programming in C++ and we continue to uh, develop um, uh, our game that we've been developing for quite some time. So yeah, hello everyone. Hello, John. Uh, hello fish, hello hydra, hello ice cold witch, hello synchron, supercuber, out9, columbetka, igoduk, droka87, uh, aukras, mcross94, hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. So yeah, um, I'm sorry if I missed anyone, but yeah. Uh, so again, you can find the source code of the game that we've been uh, developing uh, here. It's um, a simple... It's a simple platformer, a 2D, 2D platformer that we uh, develop in C++ and we use, uh, we use SDL for rendering, for cross-platform rendering. 
hello Ketison, Bekrokai, Synchron, hello, hello. So, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we're gonna do today. Let's take a look at the current state of the game. So, I wonder if I have any... Okay, I have too many changes. <laughs> Excuse to not work on a niche. I remember this one. <laughs> Uh, fucking classic me. Um, okay, so I think this is not really relevant, so I think I should be able to just clean FDX this stuff, and also, that's actually a lot of stuff I clean FDX, but maybe that's okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna reset, reset, reset very, very hard, as hard as I can uh, do it. And uh, I think we are ready to switch to another branch, to the, to the master, and fetch the latest changes. Uh, Alright. Uh, do we, we don't even have any new changes, okay, so that's, that's totally alright. Uh, and let's build the whole game from scratch. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm, dicks were zorked um, 58 times. It's a very old meme. Oh my god. It's the meme from the times when we were programming in x86 assembly, I think. <laughs> yeah, alright, so the, the game actually looks like this. Uh, right, so you can do pew pew pew. You can also build blocks like in Minecraft. As you can see, we're using a combination of all of the uh, successful games in the industry. Right, so you can do pew pew pew, you can build blocks and stuff like that. Uh, you also have some enemies with uh, a little bit of AI. So we're using AI in 2020, as you can see. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun game. It's a pretty fun game, I gotta tell you. So the AI can see me if they're in a different room. So, but they can see, yeah, and I, and I dropped shit, shit ton of uh, different blocks. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be dropping blocks uh, that easily, but uh, we'll probably work on that. Mm -mm. Only people who enjoy pain uh, and convicted uh, felony enjoy coding in assembly. Um, that's a very interesting statement that is not backed by anything, except your false beliefs, of course. But that's okay. Majority of, people's are, of people are like that, so... Um, mm -mm. So, what do we have here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, so, I have a couple of wishes planned. Separate kind of water projectiles that can destroy dirt blocks. Okay, so right now we have only one kind of projectiles. And I, uh, for a game design, for... Yeah, for my envision of the game design, I want to actually have several kinds of projectiles that can... Um, destroy different kinds of tiles, right? So we have dirt tiles and we have ice tiles. So to destroy dirt tiles, you need water projectiles, right? And to destroy ice tiles, you need uh, fire projectiles. And, and this is basically what these issues are all about. So, and I'm gonna start with water projectiles. Uh, right now, we don't even have a mechanism of uh, having even different kinds of projectiles. So as a first step, we're probably gonna just uh, you know, massage the code a little bit so it supports, uh, you know, different kinds of projectiles and then we're gonna add uh, water projectiles and stuff like that. So that's gonna be the plan. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Just like how I believe Todding is my dad. No, I'm not your dad. I, I actually did a DNA test and I can tell you with 100% certainty that I'm not your dad. That's 100%. Um, <clears throat> massaging code, exactly. Uh, all right. <clears throat> now, uh, let's go to the source code. Maybe I should start Emacs from within the uh, development environment. <clears throat> I kept learning projectiles instead of projectiles. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry. <clears throat> Um, let me see. We have a projectile, like a... What is this? We have particles. I didn't even have a separate module for projectiles. Would you look at that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot search for some reason. 
it's kind of interesting. You have to give it like a, a little bit of time before you can actually grab from within the project. And I don't know why. It's so weird. Uh, maybe because I need to, you know, do my git. Then why are you not using projectile.el? Um, is that the Emacs thing? I vaguely remember what is a projectile.el. Right, it's a, it's a for defining projects or something. Uh... Um, are you are you guys making fun of my pronunciation again? Rude, very very rude. Okay, I see. Okay, okay, I'm gonna look up how to pronounce that word. All right, all right. Let's actually learn how to you know properly speak English. Okay, you, we're gonna listen to UK Corner, okay? Projectile. Projectile. Even you were wrong, by the way, fish. It's It has to be on, on E here. Projectile. Not projectile, not projectile. Projectile. According to UK Corner. Projectile. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, chat. Thank you for making fun of my pronunciation so I can improve. Um, yeah. And move to your country and steal your job. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> will we look at PRs today? Ah, uh, no. Uh, on Monday, yes. I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna look at uh, them on Monday. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll move to your country. It's Trust me, you don't want to move to my country. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> Unless you're already there, in that case, well, uh, it is what it is. Mm. Uh, let's create a separate branch, okay? 235, 235. Uh, and uh, how are we going to even do all of that? So do we have projectiles uh, structure definition? Projectiles. Yes, that's how we pronounce that. Uh, he's gonna steal my Hebrew speaking job because he can say projectile well. Yeah. Uh, so, projectile. Alright, so it's a struct. So it's a struct defined inside of a game. Alright, this is very interesting. So we have a pro project projectile state, position velocity, uh, and we can customize its. Uh, active animation and poof animation. Poof animation is basically the uh, uh, the uh, the dying animation, the dead animation when the projectile you know dies out. So uh, we can take a look at that, right? So when the projectile, uh, all right, yeah. So uh, I think I'm a yeah yeah. So look 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 look. Projectile flies into the wall slowly, and then it hits the wall, and it starts playing the, the poof animation that we cannot see for some reason. Uh, maybe because it plays so fast, or maybe because it broke something. Maybe it just plays too fast, because sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't see it. Hmm. He went back to saying it. I mean, it's a, it's a reflex, right? Isn't it reflex? So, okay, let's actually create a special command. Add cmd projectile, projectile, uh, zosin said uh, projectile, projectile, uh, wrong, times, times, right, times, times, times. So every time I say projectile wrong, uh, you Run this command, it will ping me and remind me that I said projectile wrong. Um, so that's how you're gonna train me. All right. <sighs> projectile. Um, hopefully, I say it correctly now. On the, uh, all right. So we have a projectile state. Uh, and I kind of want to move everything related to projectile to a different module. I think that would be actually yeah yeah so we even have a, like a whole category of functions related to projectiles and 
it would make sense to create a projectile uh, module. Am I saying it correctly? Am I saying it correctly? <laughs> I actually feel a little bit stressed out <laughs> because now I have to pay attention to how I say that word because I need to, you know, train myself to say it correctly. God fucking damn it. Say missile. Did I do it correctly? I'm pretty sure it's a missile. Mm. The category of functions, yeah. So, um, projectile. Uh, so this is account. I think it's related to the game. Apart from that, I don't think we have anything else here. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Something projectile. CPP. Input. Oh, god damn. Um, <clears throat> so, did I say it incorrectly? Uh... I mean, taking account, it, taking my accent into account as well. Um, missile. Missile. So, all right. I see. I see how it is. I see how it is. Uh, <clears throat> Obviously, I won't be able to say it like perfectly, uh, as UK corner people say it, or American people say it. But taking into account my accent, maybe within my accent, we, I can work with it somehow, so people can understand me. I don't know. Something? Uh, no. All right. Uh, okay, so we have a projectile kill. So I'm gonna move that thing there. Your pronunciation is fine. Yeah, but it could be better. I think the first time you said it in US English and it was phone and the, and these people are actually you know tell me how to pronounce things okay um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just joking of course I'm just joking <laughs> um, uh, uh, so, is there anything uh, related to that stuff? How do we even render them? That's kind of interesting. Oh, we don't even have a render for them. Uh, you're in Russia right now? Yes, I'm in Russia. I'm in Siberia, I would even say. In a, in a city of Nov Novosibirsk, if you ever heard about it. Mm. In American, it's pronounced as missile, and he expected that. Ah, okay. All right. I don't know, to be fair, I personally slightly lean towards UK pronunciation because I just like how it sounds a little bit better. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Even though probably majority of my pronunciations is more American, but I kind of like UK pronunciation better. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Mm, yeah, it's minus five in Novosibirsk. With a little, uh, like, within... With a few, how to say that? With a little of wind. I, I didn't speak English, whatever. Um, I definitely program better than I speak English, so let's let's just focus on uh, on programming. Mm -hmm. So I have a feeling that we can move these entire things, like rendering of all, all the projectiles, to uh, the projectiles themselves. But uh, we'll see how, how it's going to go. <sighs> Alright, so, and let me rebuild everything. Maybe not everything, but at least the debug part. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so what do we have here? Projectile. Uh, it's not available because we haven't included that into a single compilation unit. Do you guys know what is a, what is a single compilation unit? It's when you have crazy code like that. Look at that. I include 22 CPP files. This is insanity. You're not supposed to include CPP files. You're supposed to include header files. What the hell are you doing? Do you even know C++? And the answer is no, I don't. <laughs> 
Uh, all right. So a single compilation unit is when you take all of all of your translation units, right? You include them into a single file. You just mash them together and compile as a single translation unit. So uh, what what are the benefits of this approach? Actually, the benefits are is that the compilation will go faster. Believe it or not, contrary to popular beliefs, it will go faster because the compiler doesn't need to start up, initialize itself and then finalize itself, then parse and reparse uh, the uh, source code all the time. It can just parse it one time and start compiling it. Right. So uh, then uh, the compiler doesn't have to deal with the linker time optimizations because it knows the entirety of the code it can perform. Uh, more optimizations, right? Because it knows more information. So, and this is exactly what we're doing here. We're using single compilation unit. So, yeah. And for for this thing to actually start working, I need to include my new module uh, uh, to here, projectile. Uh, does the order of includes matter? Yes, it does. But you can actually... Uh, solve that by using headers right so if you treat cpp files as usual as the separate translation units and include appropriate header files where the uh, the declarations are needed uh, you can include these cpp files in any order and in a single compilation unit it's gonna just work fine because uh, you're gonna have forward declaration in the places where you need them so um, if you use header files at all uh, the order of these cpps doesn't matter if you don't use um, uh, um, header files the order will matter but i do use header files so that that's why order doesn't really matter but i still kind of try to place it in some sort of order where you know more general modules are at, like at top and yeah uh, uh, you actually seen performance difference through actual stat comparison uh, have you actually seen well okay so how I seen it um, my previous program my previous game with the same amount of code uh, like full recompilation took four minutes Right, it took four minutes, full recompilation, because I need to go through each individual translation unit. And this is how much time it takes uh, without that. I'll, I mean, okay, I'll need to stash my changes, right. So four minutes versus how many, how much time? versus five seconds so i didn't do like any thorough like testing and stats and stuff like that i just did time on one build and one build showed four minutes and i did a time on another build here and it shows five seconds is that sufficient enough i don't know maybe why not g4 or uh something uh g4 also doesn't help actually because there is like a cap on how much you can parallelize it. And to be fair, the reason why it is fast like that is not because it is the right approach or anything, is that the C, C++ compilers are doing a lot of useless shit on startup. So <laughs> if they didn't do a lot of useless shit, you could have actually uh, compile in a classical way with the, the reasonable speed. Anyway, so... <laughs> Mm. All right, anyway, so all that doesn't matter. Um, TCC. Eh, TCC doesn't really work sometimes for me. Mm -mm. All right, so uh, let's go through the compilation stuff. Uh, mm hmm, mm hmm. So, okay, so that means here I have to in include projectiles. Okay, damn, this is very straightforward. Uh, projectiles. Is it S or not S? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. It is not S. It is definitely not S. Did I say projectile wrong again? Or are you just trolling me? If you're just trolling me, I'm going to remove this command. Mm. 
<laughs> All right, so everything seems to be compiling. Uh, he's oh, he's trolling. Okay, those in the projectile. There we go. Um, mm -hmm. So. Uh, Two, three, five. Introduce projectile. Uh, projectile uh, unit. There we go. I'm gonna push that right into the river. Uh, but on top of that, uh, does this all archive on you? Yes, it does. Check out VODs command. Uh, so we have a separate YouTube channel for VODs uh, on on this Twitch channel. So I would really recommend you to subscribe there. Thank you. Thank you for asking, by the way. Uh, so, and this is going to be there as well. Uh, this particular stream is going to be there as well. Uh, so now I want to go uh, to the game itself and find things like render pro uh, projectiles and update projectiles and just move them to their corresponding structure. Right. So let's actually find it somewhere here. So usually I like to have something like a render right and it takes i wonder what does it take it should probably take simply uh simply the renderer and the camera that's right renderer renderer and the camera um subscribe to my channel thanks yeah like and subscribe and also don't forget to click the bell button the belly button <laughs> sorry um <clears throat> And uh, yeah, we also have update with the delta time and stuff like that. Imagine having silver searcher integration in your editor so you can't just find text in all files in the folder. Yeah, I can imagine that. Cringe as fuck. So uh, let's create these things. So it's a projectile. Uh, yep, let's just put it like that. Mm. Cool. So, smash the Twitch set. Don't smash it. Don't smash it. Okay. Don't smash it. Um, so, uh, where is the game? Where is the game? Um, render projectiles. And this is what exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to copy paste this entire thing. Um, yeah, there, I think. So, projectiles, boom. Mm -hmm. And I just need to remove a very simple thing. I need to query replace projectiles. I dot. There we go. And look how simplified it became. Look how much simplified it became. Um,. Oh, this one is interesting. I think you don't have to do it like that anymore because you can query animats by their IDs now. Uh, so this should not be, this should not be like that anymore. But we'll see. How many likes for the next episode? Uh, sixty-nine likes, and I'm gonna do the next episode. Uh, yeah, at least sixty-nine likes. So if I remember correctly, I take a, I'm gonna take a look at the assets, um, assets HPP. Assets HPP, assets HPP, yeah. And we have to have something like get animat by index. Yeah, this is essentially what we're doing. So assets get animat by index, and the index is active animat. And I don't think I need to even unwrap anything. I can just directly call render on it. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's a little bit better. So and in here, I might as well actually do it like that. So instead of active animat, I'm going to do a poof animat. And there we go. Have you ever done any C programming for Game Boy games? I didn't even have a Game Boy was when I was a kid. So what are you even talking about? <laughs> I learned what is a Game Boy after I uh, learned English and started to, uh, to talk to other people in the internet. And apparently that was a thing in other countries, but that was never a thing in my country. So... 
Um, I could try to do that, but unfortunately, since I didn't have that in my childhood, I don't have a, like a nostalgic association with that thing. So, sorry. <laughs> have you heard of, of Haxe or Hax programming language? Yes, I heard about it. Uh, no Game Boys and Silver Ration. Yeah. Fortunately or unfortunately, I mean, it's it's cool that it's portable and stuff. I, I'm pretty sure if, uh, I would enjoy it as a kid. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, what did you guys have then? How about Tetris? I think we had some like shady portable things, but nothing to the level of Game Boy or something. And we also had a um, Famicom like ripoff of some or something. Uh, yeah, nothing much. Nothing much. Tamagotchi. Yeah, we also had Tamagotchi, I think. Uh, to, 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 anyway, whatever. Who fucking cares? Uh, these days we have mobile phones, we have computers, we have internet. Who cares about this shit? Come on. I saw in you in one of the John's Jai streams. Are you interested in Jai for any particular reason? I think you're confusing me with something. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Um... But hello, welcome, welcome to the stream. So, uh, more interesting topic, was the 8-bit computers on the Iron Curtain age? Uh, probably, but maybe Soviet ones. I mean, so Soviet Union, as far as I know, they did a little bit of their own computer science. So, uh, but of course, like, it's the computers that Soviet uh, scientists actually developed were not available to a regular consumer, so they usually were for scientific or military uses. Um. <clears throat> mm. We had NES ripoffs in Yugoslavia too, yeah. It's, I think it's pretty common. I think uh, NES was ripped off so many times. Um. The Jai of programming. <laughs> uh, do you enjoy in this language? I'm, I'm sorry, I should stop. Uh, Alright, seems to be seems to be good. So I should be able to go back to the game uh, and just do the following thing. <laughs> uh, render, renderer. Uh, camera and I think I have to why am I passing camera by a pointer am I am I stupid or something I think I am but that's okay it's okay being stupid all right so I don't know why I'm rebuilding everything again I, I know why I'm stupid but it's important to recognize your mistakes and you know fix them hmm the creator of breadth and swiftness Interesting, that's actually pretty cool. Um, mm, so what else do we have here? Mm, mm, yeah, we need to also move all that stuff to update uh, as well. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. If John is ever gonna see that, I, I'm really, I'm really sorry. I actually, yeah, I actually love his chance. So, yeah, I think he's super cool. So, um, <clears throat> anyways, um, projectiles. I. So this is what we're gonna do here. Hello, I'm new in programming, bruh. Same, believe it or not. I'm also new to programming. Welcome. You've come to the right channel. Oh my god. So we're all new to this beautiful activity of programming. Uh, okay, so we also have DT here. And um, I don't think it's going to work properly, but I think we need to go through the compilation stuff. Um, what means the colon colon? It means uh, a namespace. So basically, I'm trying to access update. Uh, from in, from the inside of the namespace of projectile. Projectile is not necessarily a namespace. It's a structure or class, but in C++ it does create a namespace, right? So, does it make sense? I think it makes sense. Um, <clears throat> 
What is a computer? It's a good question. I would even say it's a philosophical question. Uh, why the numbers are uh, not in order 0, 0 left? I don't know. Maybe the order doesn't matter. What kind of game are you making? I'm making a platformer. Uh, let me show you. So this is how it looks like. So this is the game. You can do pew pew pew. Right. You can also build blocks to shelter yourself and stuff. Right. So, and you can move around. And the game is open source. You can find the source code here, of course. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, that's pretty much the game. That's what we're developing today. Right now, I'm just trying to massage my code a little bit so I can add more different kinds of project uh, projectiles. Excuse me. I don't speak English, so that's why sometimes I pronounce things incorrectly. So, when you do pew pew pew, it spawns a projectile, right? So, and we have only one kind of projectiles, and uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to massage my code to, uh, you know, um, stretch it a little bit to uh, give it more room for different kinds of projectiles. So th this is how we do that in programming. So if you need a feature and you don't have a, uh, like a room for the feature, you stretch out your code a little bit and you feed that feature there. That's how you do software development. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing right now. Does that make sense? Um, so, and um, just like <laughs> Uh, so what we need here, I think we also need to accept the uh, tile grid, right? And tile grid is basically the entity that controls all of the tiles because we have tiles and stuff like that. And all of the tiles are contained from within the thing called uh, tile grid. Mm -hmm. so, so here's the tile grid. Uh, I wonder, yeah, 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 we definitely need to pass it by a pointer. Okay, so I forgot to change the uh, definitions and the header and stuff like that. Uh, tile grid. Grid. There we go. Um, Panapudi, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Really glad to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're doing a game development. How about that? So what I need to do, I need to actually query replace grid dot with grid arrow. You know, classic C++ refactoring. Thank you, C, for this beautiful, beautiful leg legacy. I really appreciate it. Absolutely love it. Classic, yeah. Fucking classic. Um, so, and then we have to do a project projectile. Projectile. Uh, update dt grid. There we go. And then I have to remove this shot. Uh, did you clip that shit? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh boy. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, this is my software development wisdom for you. If you're only getting into software development, this is how you implement the features. It is true. It is 100% true. Um, all right. So I think, yeah, I moved everything needed here to appropriate places. At least I think so. I would actually like to make a couple of changes here where we, uh, you know, uh, query the animation assets and stuff like that uh, but i want to check if i didn't uh, do any uh, you know severe fucky wackies right mm. i don't see any severe fucky wackies okay uh, so um let me do the following thing asset get animat by index and the index that we're calling there is going to be this this is update so this is a little bit better, hopefully. Uh, oh, it's, it's actually kind of funny. So we're essentially waiting until... Huh. Yeah, I think what's going on here. So it's actually related to one of the existing problems. Um, yeah. It's kind of sad, uh, but it is what it is. But it is what it is. Uh, by... Oh, my God. Mm. 
to, to buy index. So also I need to not unwrap that because it's too much unwrappage. Uh -huh. So maybe it makes sense to actually just save the pointer there. Because when I get animate by index, right? I get animate by index and in assets, I actually straight up get a frame animate, so which means I'm not really updating it properly, do I? Um, oh shit, that's actually pretty severe. But it, it makes sense only for the animates, so... Yeah... It only makes sense only for the animates, so I might as well actually do it like that, but I wonder in how many places I'll have to make that change, but maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave it alone. Let's just leave this stupid code alone and let it be buggy and miserable until we go back and fix it at some point in our lives. So let's just let it be a little bit buggy, right? So because we have uh, some other things to do and uh, yeah, the scope is limited, the scope is limited. Um, just like Python, exactly. Introduce project projectile unit. Uh, let me go to the game. And it never gets fixed in my projects. Well, I'm super happy that this is not your project. I I'm sorry, I didn't want to be that rude, but I'm, I'm just, I'm just joking, just joking. Uh, okay. Tracking pro projectile. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. And then. Yeah, it feels like we never actually extracted everything projectile related to a separate unit. So we did that for for a lot of things at some point. But um, two, three, five, two, three, five. Mm, introduce projectile uh, render and projectile update. There we go. This is exactly what we did, boys and girls. That's exactly what we did. Uh, so do you like HTML? Uh, what does it mean to like uh, HTML? HTML is a programming language, right? And I hate all of the programming languages equally, so I think no. I think no. Mm. It depends on whether HTML is a programming language or not. Is it a programming language? If it is a programming language, I hate it. If it's not a programming language, I don't know, to be fair. Mm -mm. But HTML is not a programming language, so that means I don't hate it. Um, <laughs> it's a markup language. Um, an anonymous user is gifting four tier one subs to the community. Oh my god, anonymous user. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, is that the anonymous hacker group that gifting subs to me? Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, Mr. Anderson, uh, Fuzimi, Santios, and I'm Kepler, welcome to our epic uh, game development club. That's right. Enjoy your to do, to do, to, uh, to do, to. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking where exactly we are handling the interaction. Yeah, we have a special function for handling interaction between uh, projectiles and uh, tiles, I suppose. Uh, where is the sub sound effect from, by the way? Uh, I played it myself on my MIDI keyboard. Mm, I just noticed I have uh, lost brain cells. Nice. Cool. Uh, you actually, by the way, reminded me that I wanted to buy a new MIDI keyboard for, for quite some time already. <sighs> I need to find like a, reason, a reasonably, reasonably priced one. Uh, two, 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 so, um, so it's going to be update. So and in the update, we uh, update all projectiles, and then we have entity projectile interaction. Uh, do we have entity, uh, yeah, projectile? Ah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Does this mean we'll get a new sorting composition? Uh, 
Uh, no, you'll get yet another surging court decomposition. Uh, 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 I don't know. So uh, the thing about MIDI keyboards is that they are very versatile. They can be used not only for, um, for music, because these can send MIDI events, right? They can send MIDI events and you can capture those MIDI events um, in programmatically in the computer. So you can basically do whatever you want on receiving the MIDI event. So that's probably yet another reason why I want to use them. But of course, also using them for music would be pretty cool. I wanted to write my own synthesizer for quite some time. Um, yeah. And also you can use them for, you know, like a stream deck, right? You can just write a simple application that receives MIDI events and just does something for OBS. Um, Anabuthu. By the way, hello on the booth, welcome to the stream. Mm, synthesizer, sign me up. Yeah, that would be actually pretty interesting. Mm. So I really want to like restart development, uh, development of Demooper. Uh, I started uh, Demooper a long time ago when I was not that as experienced as I am today. So I think today um, I would implement it completely differently. I would actually not make the synthesizer a separate third-party program. I would probably embed the synthesizer into the demooper so you don't have to deal with setting things up. Um, so, yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, and that would be actually pretty cool. And I'm thinking whether I want to use um, uh, Rust for that. Because developing this thing in Rust still gives me PTSD a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe these days I can manage, uh, I can handle that. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, so in the projectiles, uh, this is where we update the tiles. Yeah, this is basically where we do all of that. So, um, and depending on the type of the projectile, we'll have to damage different um, different things. Yes, yes, yes. Kawaii mm, desu. You didn't hear that, by the way. Uh, no. <clears throat> uh, so we're gonna actually have like constructors for for different project projectiles. Um, let's actually call it default projectile. So yeah, this is going to be the constructor. Maybe you're also going to we also going to accept the position of these things. Guys, stop overusing MonkOS. No. Please overuse MonkOS. I want you to overuse MonkOS. Everyone, please overuse MonkOS. So how, where do we create the projectiles? I think it's something like spawn a projectile. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, a boom, all right. Then I'm gonna put it like that. Um, so this one is gonna be a result. Why am I saying it like that? Okay, this is a result now. This is the correct pronunciation of result from now on. It's result, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna return it. Mm -hmm. I have a newbie question, Sergeant. How do you do memory management? I mean, cleaning memory after the allocation? I don't. <laughs> Why do you need to clean up any memory? Tell me. Why do you need to clean up any memory? Um. I'm not even joking, but just, just think about it. Why do you need to clean up any memory? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the thing about the operating system, about the modern operating system, is that when your application quits, operating system uh, deallocates all of the memory you allocated, it closes all of the files you opened. Why do you need to, to do that yourself again? Think about it. When you do dynamic allocations, you don't close it. Usually, yeah, I don't usually clean them up. 
because it's dirty. What kind of uh, reasoning is that? Uh, it's not an argument, actually, against doing that. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It's dirty is not an argument uh, against that because it doesn't mean anything. Uh, not if you're on Windows, then you have no guarantees of that. That's why I, I'm not on Windows. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, there is a very interesting style of software development in C and C++. Uh, it's when people uh, allocate upfront enough memory for the entirety of lifetime of their program. It is possible. It, it actually depends uh, quite heavily on uh, what exactly you're doing. But in the majority of situations, uh, for example, when you have a batch programs, right, that basically fire once and then die, you can just allocate as much memory as you need. Just use that memory and forget about it. Um, right. So you usually need to start managing the memory uh, when you have a long running program and uh, from time to time it needs to reload something so uh yeah for example uh i uh, in our game you can reload uh assets right so we can change some of the images here you can change some of the images and you can reload uh, all of the assets in the game and this is where i start uh, managing things manually but these kind of situations are quite rare um so yeah so the question is how I manage my memory. The answer, it depends on what program is doing and what program needs to do. I don't have any like universal way of managing the memory. It just depends. If it's a batch program, I don't manage the memory because the program is gonna do its job and it's gonna die. Why do I need to manage anything? If it's a long running program, um, right? I identify the places where it needs to be reloaded and I manage, uh, you know, memory there uh so sometimes i even use garbage collected languages like so the problem here is that there's no universal answer to that que this question like to, to the question of how to manage memory um i don't know if it answers your question i don't remember your question but so um mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have velocity, we have a shooter. So these are, are the things that we uh, are customizing here. So let me actually put them like that. So and who is the, who is the shooter? Oh yeah, we need to. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool idea here at Uh Every time somebody asks how to manage memory, we need to give that Walter Bright talk because he actually broke down that so fucking well. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, Hudson Plus. Uh, Walter Bright. So I, I can find it on his uh, uh, on his homepage. He actually put that talk on his homepage. Um, allocating memory with deep programming language. Yes, it was in 2019. And it's available on YouTube as far as I know. Yeah. So he actually went through each individual way of managing the memory he uses programming language d but all of, everything he says is actually applicable to any uh, programming language actually and he uh, discussed pros and cons of each individual like approach it's actually super cool so we're going to do at cmd um memory do we have a memory uh, thingy uh, memory okay at cmd memory and uh sender like this all right so whoever asked uh right so watch this video um it's a pretty cool video it explains a lot of interesting things on how you know you can approach memory management in your applications don't be scared of a deep programming language uh it's applicable not only to deep programming language it's also applicable to c to c and you know generally to native languages like unmanaged ones I am... Um... <clears throat> Where is the one responsible for hacking the US elections? Nah, it was not me. I was not assigned to that job, I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh... So, entity index. So entity index shooter. Yeah, get them KGB Jira. <sighs> K 
KG KG Jira KG KG Jira okay um Mm -hmm. All right, so this is basically what we have here, and uh, when I'm spawning this thing, uh, I do projectiles, I, default projectile, so this is what we have here, default projectile. We have to provide the position, the velocity, and the shooter, and uh, then, like this, should be okie dokie karaoke. Mm hmm... How can you hack a paper with an axe? Uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, so. mm. Alrighty. Uh, something debugs. Okay, it seems to be working. I didn't break uh, stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, to to. E, e, where is the? Oh, okay. Here it is. Two, three, five. Uh, introduce default projectile uh, constructor. Um, construct. Unfortunately, the word constructor is already taken by OOP people. God damn it. OOP people took so many good words that I could have used uh, while describing myself, but. Explaining myself, I suppose, not describing myself. Describing myself would be a completely different activity. So now, uh, I think the time has come to do a little bit of an interesting thing. So we have a projectile state. We also need to introduce a projectile, um, projectile type. Project projectile type I'm sorry uh, so um, um, yeah I'm sorry Adnan, and I had to delete this command because people were abusing it but yeah <clears throat> uh, projectile type uh, so which one we're gonna have uh, here we're gonna have uh, like a water and uh, we're gonna have fire uh, so and this is exactly what we're gonna have here uh, Projectile type. Mm. So in here, the type is going to be first the first. Projectile type. Uh, water, because it kind of looks like water. Does it? Does it look like water? It it looks like actually like lightning. So sort of sort of speak. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and basically, we're gonna distinguish by this type for now. Maybe later we're gonna uh, we're gonna come up with a little bit better approach, but but for now we're gonna distinguish them like that. And um, yeah, so depending on what kind of uh, projectile it is, it's gonna affect different kind of tiles. Man. So we can even do this kind of thing here. Um, uh, to, 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 to. Overly overused for them. Isn't overly redundant when you have overused? Because um, I'm not sure. I don't speak English anyway. Um, so this is what we're going to have here. It would be actually pretty cool to... Um, to have a function called damage tile and just put a tile there uh, and just hide this nonsense like in the damage tile uh, and depending on the type of the projectile it will damage different things um, I think it's a pretty cool idea I think I'm gonna do it I'm, I think I'm gonna do it chat uh, and you won't be able to stop me so uh, damage tile and uh, what we're gonna accept here we're gonna literally accept the tile we're gonna literally accept the tile so uh, and this is what we're gonna have here projectile 
Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. And let's uncomment this shite. Um, yeah, there we go. So if... Look, look, look. So if we found the tile at that particular position, and the tile is collidable, we kill ourselves, we kill the projectile, and we damage the tile. Maybe we can, uh, maybe it makes sense to damage the tile first and then kill ourselves. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the idea. That's pretty much the idea. Mm, and I really like how straightforward the, the logic is here. So in damaging, uh, damaging the tile uh, is going to be slightly different. So it's a little bit messy here, but this is because we don't have different kinds of, of projectiles. Right, so uh, what we're going to have here, we're going to have a switch upon the type of the projectile. Right, and uh, let me take a look what kind of projectiles we have. We have water and fire. There we go. Ah! The fuck. I like this song for some reason. I think it's pretty cool. So, um, if we water, we need to check if the tile is one of the dirt stages. One of the dirt stages. If it's one of the dirt stages, we actually increase its increased dirt, uh, dirt stage. Uh, uh, otherwise, if uh, tile equal tile dirt 3, it should become the empty style, uh, empty tile, tile empty like this. So yeah, this is water, and uh, then for the fire projectile, for the fire projectile, uh, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna replace dirt with ice, right? So uh, different kinds of projectiles uh, will be able to affect different kinds of tiles. There we go. So and this is kind of separation that we uh, were striving for. Uh, all right. Hello, Everex, by the way. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, so um, so the consequences of these changes is that now we won't be able to uh, kill, uh, to, to destroy ice project, uh, ice tiles. Uh, but that's a, a completely separate issue. That's a completely separate issue. Hmm... So let's take a look. So now I'm gonna uh, make a bunch of dirt blocks and I'm able to destroy them slowly but steadily. Uh, then Akuna Akwe subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for three months of Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome to our epic dirt club. Yes, we're playing with dirt here. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, uh, another thing we're gonna do. So, if I add uh, ice tiles here, they're not destroyable anymore. You see? They're not destroyable. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, because they would be destroyable by a different kind of projectile. <sighs> Alright. Uh, so... Yeah, mm. let's do a committee committee. Maybe it also makes sense to uh, rename that function, right? It's a default projectile, we can call it a water projectile. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, so, so what are, what the size of your tiles? Uh. Uh. 128 by 05. 
64 essentially. <laughs> does it does it answer your question? Um, you're welcome. <laughs> Um, all right. Ah. Mm. Okay, good. Mm. It should actually fail, in my opinion, but it doesn't. That means I did a fucky wacky. Mm. Water projectile. Water projectile. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted the fucky wacky to happen. Thank you so much. Mm, yep. Two, three, five. Uh, introduce uh, project projectile types. And before I'm gonna make a pull request, I wanna do a full build just to see if everything is okay. Is everything okay? We about to find out. Almost okay. Nice. Uh, it is in fact okay. Uh, so let's create a pull request. So we massaged our code to the state where we can have different kinds of projectiles. Projectiles. I'm sorry. I, it's it's really hard when you actually train yourself to say things in a very specific way. It's just a reflex. Like you cannot do anything about it. Um, so I'm really sorry. But thank you so much for actually pointing that out, because maybe eventually. I'm gonna become a better English speaker and you will be able finally to understand what the fuck I'm saying. How about that? Wouldn't be wouldn't be that great. I think that would be actually pretty great. <clears throat> uh, Alright, so we're just waiting for continuous integration to kick in. And then we're gonna start working on a separate kind of pro projectile that can destroy ice blocks and um will have to find we'll have to steal a little bit more assets for uh, for that right because different kinds of projectiles need to have different kinds of animations different kinds of um you know tiles and stuff like that so and that's uh, what this issue is going to be about uh perfect diction Mm -hmm. So GCC on Linux and on Clank are already done, so we're only waiting for a macOS in Windows, as usual. You know, everything works on Linux already, and we're just waiting for macOS and Windows. Uh, uh, <laughs> get him! Get him! Alright, so... Uh... Okay, Windows MSVC is actually also done. But by the way, uh, there is very interesting specifics of MSVC build. If it fails, it's not gonna tell you that it fails. You have to manually check it. Uh, it it's okay. So even though we have a fatal error here, don't don't worry about it. It's it's okay. So <laughs> there's always shit like that with Windows, right? <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so we're only waiting for macOS. There was a nice article yesterday about the horror of new macOS. I know nothing about macOS, I'm sorry, except that it's a free BSD. Um, yeah. I saw people using macOS on, on Twitch. It has like whoosh, whoosh, animations and stuff like that. And yeah, that's, that's the only thing I know about macOS, I'm sorry. Oh, I also know that you, to do anything in macOS, you have to drag and drop a lot. So, that's all. Mm -mm -mm. When I try to fix that error message, MSVC complains about STB code. Well, that's understandable. Uh, MSVC. So, what can I say? All right, I think uh, we're ready to merge everything. And delete a branch. 
just use terminal. Oh, you, you can also have a uh, Unix terminal, yeah. So that's also something that I heard. Um, choo -choo -choo -choo. Cool. So this issue is officially exactly. Um, the issue is officially. Uh, yep. So let's, let's remove that and um, let's uh, start working on this issue. It's uh, issue two, three, four. Two, three, four. All right. So, and we just need to add another kind of projectile. So, uh, let me take a look at the, at the credits. And we're gonna go on my favorite website of all time, which allows you to steal their content. How about that? It's like YouTube. <laughs> so, um, projectile. So we have, oh shit, we have fireballs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is exactly what we need to uh, look for. We need to look for fireballs. Uh, balls of fire. Uh, fireball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So unfortunately, this particular fireball uh, is directional. I cannot see shit. What is this? Is this a fireball for ants? What the hell? Uh, open image in your tab. Yeah, the problem with, with this thing is that it's directional. Mm. But maybe that's okay. Maybe that will force us to um, implement a directional proje projectiles. What do you guys think? Is that an interesting idea, just to have a pro uh, directional projectiles? Um, because as far as I know, in SDL you can also rotate textures, right? So with the uh, with the function SDL copy rect x something something. Um, is it copy rect? Uh, SDL copy rect. Render copy. Yeah, render copy X. Render copy X. And what you can do here, you provide render a texture, uh, source, and destination rectangle. You provide an angle at which you want to rotate things. And uh, you also provide a pivot, like a center. Um, Okay, in the center, yeah, I think we, we actually discussed that uh, at some point with Feng Chi on, on Discord. Yeah. So, and maybe this is exactly what we can use for directional projectiles. I think that would be actually fucking awesome. So, and that uh, means we can just use this thing here. Hmm. All right, let's actually steal this, uh, steal this projectile. Uh, so... All right, let me take a look at that thing. Shazawak! Hello. Hello, Shazawakusama. Welcome to the stream. So, uh, Fireball, I'm gonna copy it here. And, uh, yep. So, let me open that in a Chromium. Uh, it's it's still very small. It is still very small. And why is it P BMP? Can I convert that to PNG? That would be actually pretty cool. So, I'm gonna do uh, Convert uh, Fireball. Fireball BMP to Fireball PNG. Did it work? Did it work? I hope it... Look at the size of this mother flippers. Oh my god. BMP and PNG. God damn. Well, I mean, PNG also compresses this shit, so that's probably why. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, as far as I know, I think PNG uses lossless compression. It just like uses like zlib to compress stuff or something. I don't know. I think it's called deflate or yeah, I don't remember. So um, sprites. So here are different kind of sprites that we have. And um, what's the batch of then? Um, oh, it's some sort of like a glitch cone. I don't even know what what that means. But I saw a couple of people with that uh, batch. Uh, so, but it looks pretty interesting. Uh, I forgot how to move. 
Yeah, yeah, this is how we move that. So uh, we have fireball. So here we go. So this is a fireball. I cannot even increase it, but okay. <sighs> So now, um, we have to go to our asset config. Yeah, we recently developed an asset config. So, and we need to add uh, a new texture there. Uh, uh huh. Projectile uh, fire uh, texture. Right. Projectile fire texture. So, and we have to point at fireball. Right. So here's the fireball. There we go. So this is a fireball. And uh, once you add this line here, the game will automatically load up this texture into memory. So our asset manager will pick it up and you will be able to access this uh, texture uh, through this ID in, inside of the code. So we have like a preprocessor that checks this configuration file, generates more code to facilitate all of that. So that should work now. Uh, let me see um, if it's gonna work or not. So we're gonna recompile everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, seems, uh, seem, looks like debug is already done, so we're only waiting for a release. So if I try to do a debug, so we're in the debug version, and if we go through what we've loaded up, we should be able to see loading texture, projectile fire texture, and it actually loaded up fireball successfully. Right, there's no, there's no problem there. Um, it's already released. I mean, we have a notion of a release build with uh, all of the optimizations enabled, but that doesn't mean the game is released. By the way, hello, Miss Lantern. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yep, yep, yep. And I just realized that I forgot a pretty important thing. I forgot to credit uh, people who created the fireball. Um, so, so I'm going to put them to credit like that. So this is the fireball projectile. Mm -hmm. And now we need to create an animation for uh, for this kind of thing. So that means we'll have to pop into the animats uh, animats folder and create one of the animation files. All right. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, fireball. So we're gonna have animation for a fireball. The texture the texture for a fireball is gonna be. Uh, let me open the assets assets config the texture is going to be projectile fire texture right so you see we have a, like a system of configuration files that can actually refer to each other right so we have a like a global asset file where we define the like assets and then if we want to define a new animation here we can refer to the texture that is going to be used by the animation and texture is essentially sprite sheet so basically the place from which you want to extract the uh the frames and stuff like that um so if I take a look at the sprites and uh, the uh, fireball, chromium fireball PNG. So how many frames we have here? We have five frames, right? So that means count is going to be five. So what's going to be the duration of a single uh, frame in milliseconds? So for walking here, we're using 100 uh, milliseconds, but maybe, yeah, we can actually change it at any moment, right? So we can change it at any moment. Uh, and reload uh, in runtime, so it doesn't really matter that much. So now we need to define each an individual frame. So let's see how we can do that. Um, so I'm going to assume that they are even, uh, they have even sizes. So what we'll need to do here, we just need to take the height of the sprite sheet and divide by five, uh, right? And that way we will get, um, that way we will get the. Um, the, uh, the the height of a single cell there um so let me let me see let me see i wonder if i can just generate all of that that would be actually pretty cool uh but in any case um let me close all of that stuff uh, except this one and i'm gonna go to the sprites 
to the sprites and where is my fireball where is my fireball uh, and let's apply file on it it should give me the height of the projectile yes the height is 30 right the height is 30 and if you divide it by 5 uh, let's start each side for some reason for the first time if I start GHCI it takes so much time uh, maybe because I have my like, HDD or something but yeah 12 yeah we have 12 then uh, we have five uh, five frames mm -hmm. so and funny enough um, funny enough um, so this is not how it has to be done. Um, so X is probably going to stay zero all the time. X is going gonna, is gonna to stay zero. Um, so width in this case is equal seven. Height is equal to uh, 60 divided by uh, five. Right. 60 divided by five. So uh, X stays the same, Y changes, and Y is essentially I multiplied by height. So, and uh, something went horribly wrong here, I don't know exactly what, uh, maybe because I supposed to do something, yeah, there you go. So here are the coordinates of all of these things. So here are all the coordinates of all the things, X stays the same, and then we just keep increasing this entire thing, um, yeah. So let me just grab this data and turn it into an actual uh, description uh, for the fireball. Uh, yep, so I'm gonna put it like that. Then uh, this one is a little bit complicated, but I think I can get through like this. So we also wanna get rid of this kind of stuff. Uh, then I'm gonna remove all these things and then I'm gonna clear replace and remove these things like so so after that uh, we can do something like um, I would say X Y uh -huh, uh -huh. then a boom right and also we can get rid of the commas why not um, so this is X Y X Y X Y and this is essentially frames uh, zero and maybe we can even copy paste this stuff a couple of times like so using a little bit of emacs magic how about that so then we have the frame one so this is the frame one this is the frame two this is the frame uh, three and this is the frame four hello lost pointer i don't know rust what is rust you, are you talking about the game i heard about the game though all right so and uh, another thing we have here is this it's going to be W and H, and we know that W and H is what? Uh, w is 7, and uh, Rust Lang. No, I never heard of it. Please tell me. It. What, what is it? Is, is that a new programming language? I never heard of it. Is that a good programming language? Is it better than C++? So tell, tell me about it. I'm actually re really interesting, or interested. I'm always interested in new programming languages, because I think... Uh, the more programming languages you know, the better programmer you are, right? So, tell me, tell me more about it. Mm -hmm. It's a good programming language, finally! Yeah, I've been waiting for a good programming language for uh, quite some time. Uh, what makes it good? T tell me, what's, what, what makes it good? What, what's so special about it? Mm. Mm. Pretty much every C++ developer that I knew switched to Rust now. Oh no! Am I late to party? Uh, maybe maybe I should check it out. Maybe I should check out this language. Thank you, thank you for letting me know about it. Thank you, because... Oh, God damn! Every C++ developer switched to... Damn! Am I out of job? Shit! All right, thank you. Th thank you so much, Lost Pointer. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. All right. Um, so, seems good, seems good. 
So I hope it didn't do any uh, like major fucky walky. Mm. Mm. So once we uh, defined the animation file, we also need to add that file to the assets, right? So it's kind of funny. We added texture to the assets. Then we created new animation referring to the texture from the assets, and now we need to add this animation back to the assets. Quite the opposite, because every C++ developer switched to us, you're the only one left, so you can get any job you want and get paid as much as you want. <laughs> and maintain old ass legacy source code that nobody understands. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's actually quite funny. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. So let's actually go uh, back to the assets config and add this thing here. So um, uh, any mats? Mm, um, projectile fireball. Uh, projectile fire. Any mats? Right. It's gonna be assets. Any mats, uh, fireball. All right, now let's see if it's gonna work or not. Let's see if it's gonna work or not. Mm. Pretty much every C++ developer that I knew switched to Go. All my homies hate C++, am I right? Uh, I managed to get free Prime, but I can't use the free sub on Twitch for some reason. Is it because uh, I've already done it? I don't know. I don't have an uh, Amazon Prime subscription. I don't have Amazon at all. I have no idea how it works. So I live in a third world country where Amazon is unusable. So I'm too poor to understand your first world uh, problems. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, it was a joke, uh, but it, it, it's half true, like I don't use Amazon at all. <clears throat> um, um, now let's continue. So everything seems to be compounded though, everything seems to be compounded. <laughs> it was full of my chat, don't worry about it. Uh, I never use Amazon as well, I'm not going to pay for it, it's free for a week and I will cancel before the week is over. Ah, I see. Uh, Alright, so let's actually try to run this entire thing and maybe it will work, maybe it will not. I don't know, I don't program any language with a borrow checker, I'm sorry. Uh, Alright, it didn't fail, per se. Alright, so... Um, we'll see, we'll see. Mm, 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 mm. So I think the time has come to introduce a new, new kind of projectile. Right, so uh, pro projectile. It's like project. Oh, it's like it's like a difference between uh, project, a project, and to project. Right. This is kind of different, like a project and to project. Right. So, and projectile is something that. Okay, that's that's actually makes sense. I see. For some reason, like I, my brain didn't make this kind of association. Um, you project a projector. Okay, that makes so much sense. Shit. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're better than my high school English teacher. Seriously. When a word can be both a noun and a verb, the verb has the stress on the second syllable. Uh, import uh, record project. Import. What? Import rec. Really? Is that how? Oh. Import record. Is that how you really say it? Import record. Shit. 
Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. Uh, or buy. All right. So yeah, because I don't don't speak English at all. So um, yeah, this stuff all new for me. Uh, on the last syllable. Okay. Hello, Nulagor. Welcome, 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 welcome. How are you doing, Epic Gamer? So. <laughs> We're just programming in a programming language without a borrow checker. How about that? Um, we're doing quite well. We're introducing, we're learning how to pronounce the word projectile. Yes. Uh, apparently it's not pro pronounced like projectile. Projectile, it's pronounced like projectile, whatever. I still don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Uh, so what we're gonna have here, so this is a fire projectile. Uh, it's gonna be a fire, active, position, velocity, sure, lifetime, but here uh, what we're gonna use is a fire, fire animat index for both of the poof and active animations. Yes, that's right. Mm. So, uh, Everything seems to be compiling. So now let's switch the active, the active um, proje projectile uh, for uh, for all the entities. So right now we by default using water, uh, and we're going to switch to fire. Cool. Why am I waiting for the release build? I don't understand. I think I'm done. Why are you sticking to C++? Because that's the only language I know. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. That's the only language that they taught me in university. So, and I don't have more money to go to other university where they teach a different language because I'm, as I already said, I'm in a third world country. The, the education is very expensive there. So I only managed to afford C++ education and that's why I'm using C++. So, sorry. <laughs> the Ligur, what the fuck? Mwah. Thank you, thank you so much for eight months of tier one subscription. You didn't have to, I mean, but I really appreciate it anyway. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Um, uh, mwah indeed, mwah indeed. All right, so uh, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? If only so you could afford PHP education. <laughs> ah, yes, uh, all right. So we are about to witness the new projectiles. I'm not sure if they are going to be even visible. They are invisible. They're so PP small, you cannot see them. So apparently we do not scale, we do not, we do not stretch the projectiles when we render them. So can, can you even see them? Oh, wait a second. So here it is. Here is the projectile. Projectile. Uh, I cannot even properly see, but yeah, I tried. So it is very, very it's, it's literally few pixels. Like literally few pixels. Jesus Christ. Uh, yep. Very interesting. Mm, that's a sign. Uh, all right, so one of the things we probably want to do is, uh, you know, stretch them out a little bit so they're a little bit more visible um, and stuff like that. Um, mm -mm. So, yep. Good. <laughs> God damn it. I actually feel embarrassed that I know what you mean by that. But I mean, Goatsy is a very, like, a 
famous meme, so it's not that bad that, that you understand it. Um, shooting with cross. Yeah, maybe. Uh, two, three, four. Mm, all right. Mm. The pew 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 sound is certified. Thank you, thank you. I actually stole it from a website myself. Thank you so much. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, introduce uh, introduce fire ball projectiles projectiles. There we go. Still in sound. <laughs> Just. Mm. Okay, cool. How are we gonna go to them? Um, let me see. I think we can do that during the rain. But don't they have like a hitbox? I think they do have a hitbox. Not hitbox, but hitbox. Right? Why am I speaking like a goddamn Russian? Um, hello, my comrades. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> projectiles. Uh, so, how do we even detect their collision and shit? Hui. Thank you, Everx. Yeah. Uh, projectile CPP. So, where do we detect collision? Ah, I see, I see. Alessus, Arch Alessus, welcome to the streamus. Hello, hello. I just wanted to stay looking for day, but uh, miming is... <laughs> I didn't meme anyone. What, what the hell are you talking? I have no idea what you're talking about, I'm sorry. Uh, hello, by the way. Mm -mm. I CPP when I pee, you know. When I pee. Uh, uh, it's, it's not even my joke. I think it's it's Don Ho's joke. It's his, fa it's, it's his favorite joke. I see pee pee when I pee. Uh, <clears throat> funny. Mature stream, by the way. Rest in peace, Don Ho. Did, did he stop streaming or something? What happened to him? Is he okay? He's bad. Did he actually did what he said in his joke or <laughs> i'm so but but is it serious or s what the fuck yes he did that are you are you trolling me or okay i'm gonna actually check his channel because i think i think this could be a karma for the for the rust thingy and you guys are actually trolling me just i want to double check that um I'm <laughs> He's actually burned. What the fuck? Uh, what he did? Well, he has a favorite joke. He has his own favorite joke. He says, "I I CPP when I pee." And according to her Hotten plots, apparently he did exactly what he says in his favorite joke, and that's why he got banned or something. But I don't know the truth. Like I, god damn, I didn't. Oh no, he didn't do that. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> oh, golden CPP. <laughs> well, is there any chance that he's gonna get unbanned? Because he's actually... Uh, he's actually pretty... Pretty funny. I don't know. Uh, I really like his streams. Not likely. Okay. Hmm... Oh, you're sending me pick uh, 30 days, I see. Um, mm, okay, let's, let's continue, let's continue. But I hope he, he goes back because I really like his streams. Even though I never, like didn't really uh, say anything on his streams, but I was actually looking a lot and they were quite funny, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> so... Um, Mm. Mm. So what I was doing? Uh, what I was doing? Mm. 
do you put uh, open concurrency in the same line declaration yeah i do uh, because uh, that makes the compiler compile things faster right because if it's in the same line as the declaration it has to split lines less right because it's you know on the same line so and that makes the whole compilation actually way faster um what you're making is it still the something repo yes it is still something repo uh and uh the thing that we're doing looks like this pretty much uh, so so we're doing these things those micro optimizations really help in yeah yeah it's, it's actually true it, it is actually true they really help especially if you have a big project all of these like line splits that happen in the compiler they really add up they can add up up to like five minutes seriously um and it's, it's actually pretty serious like you have to be super careful with this kind of stuff it's, um hello luke gorilla welcome welcome to the stream um so why do we have a Haskell here? It's kind of weird. It's kind of cringe. Imagine programming in Haskell in 2020. Jesus fucking Christ. That's why Linux kernel compiles so slow. Exactly. Uh, do short names of variables make the compiler fine? No, not really. They're using um, they're using hash tables, and shorter names actually uh, increase the probability of a collision in a hash table. So they will start. Uh, uh, you know appending the elements to the same bucket and that actually slows down the compilation because the the uh, name lookup becomes slower so you have to use longer names so the less probability of collision will happen in the hash tables of the compiler so the compilation goes faster because the name lookup is faster right so yeah that's how it usually goes you actually want the yeah exactly 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 java sold it yeah th that's why java compiles so fast by the way you know what's the secret of java so they do that um <clears throat> using one of the most advanced languages as the calculator i mean um uh, if i couldn't use it as a calculator would i be able to call it a powerful programming language right or, or advanced programming language it's so advanced i can even use it as a calculator how about that can you use c plus plus as a calculator no i don't think so mm -hmm. Anyways, so um, what did we have? Mm. You can try. Well, yeah, this, I think you can, but you have to recompile every time. It's not particularly convincing, does. Uh, so what we were talking about? I wanted to actually go to see my texture. <laughs> I wanted to stretch my texture so we can see the uh, the projectiles. Um, you can see C++ as a category. There is a thing called root. It's a C++ interpreter. Ah, I see. Um, oh, here to plus actually send me. Uh, oh shit! What the fuck. That's actually quite bad. All oh, right. I see. I see, I see, I see what you're talking about. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to show you, by the way, guys. Like, I mean, I don't want to get banned as well. <laughs> but, yeah. Um. <clears throat> so, when we are rendering these things, right? So, I just render that get animat by index so it's just a level of animat but what's funny about animat is that we cannot really customize their destination rectangles did you show i th uh, i think it was gore that's what it is it was gore that's the only thing i can say mm. Yeah, I, I suppose. Post it in general. No, I'm gonna, not going to post it in general. Uh, well, I guess if you, want to, if you want to post it in general, post it in general in, in a spoiler, in a spoiler with a warning, something like that. 
Um, okay. If you want, of course. I mean, I think it's double, double uh, colon. You can actually train maybe in uh, in a bot shrine or something. Uh, yeah. Mm, no, no, it's it's not single. Uh, it's actually double. You you surround it with double uh, bars. Mm. Mm. All right, so what are we doing here? <clears throat> mm -hmm. mm. So, by the way, in Animat, uh, struct animat frame and no 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 it's, it's actually struct frame oh you can actually specify the destination from the frame anim okay cool that's actually super cool um all right i didn't know that you can uh i didn't know that you can do that Maybe it also makes sense to delete that message after some time. Yeah, I think I think we shouldn't keep it for for too long, just to, for enough for enough people to see. Um. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, struct animat. Struct uh, animat. Uh, it's, not, it's actually projectile. Projectile. And uh, projectile CPP. I mean, couldn't he just say that it was a cooking stream? I'm, I'm sorry, or whatever. <clears throat> um, so, this is just a position. Um, and we need to come up with a rectangle uh, for this entire thing. So we're gonna have things like uh, projectile, uh, projectile width and projectile height. Uh, so this is gonna be, uh, I think, float. This is another float, and I don't know how, how big we want them to be. I think I, we want them to be as big as uh, the original, like, uh, plasma bolt, bolt. Right, their width and height is 41, 37, so let's actually make it 40, 40, right. Mm. 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 Okay, well, I can I can just align things. Wait a second, I never heard about this function align. Uh, is interactive uh, align region based on a set of alignment rules. Oh, that's cool. So I don't even have to do align rejects. It can just do that for me. That's actually pretty cool. Um, mm, so this one is going to be... Um, <clears throat> mm. 
Mm, all right, so we're gonna take the position and we'll have to construct a rectangle. So it's gonna be rect F. Uh, so we'll have to construct it somewhere here. So just to rect. Mm. 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 So it's going to be position X uh, minus half of the width and minus half of the size. Uh, so projectile width, projectile width, half of that, and then y height. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have a full projectile width and projectile height. Uh, hello, Paul Mechanica, Welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm also kind of actually kind of sensitive to this stuff as well, but luckily I have a pretty bad vision, so I was kind of safe. Um, it's not a joke, by the way. <laughs> uh, I just need new new glasses. I just need new glasses. Okay, so this is this rectangle, so I'm gonna just change this thing, and it should automatically stretch uh, these things out. Stretch these things out. Uh, alrighty, and uh, let's uh, go. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm I think we need to delete that message just in case. Uh it causes too much controversy and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna delete it myself, if that's impossible, don't worry about it. So yeah. Alright. Mm. Okay, everything's good. Um. So everyone who wanted already saw that, everyone who wanted to already understand the situation, so let's just move on. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's focus on programming, right? So because that's why we're here, after all. We're here to, you know, make things. Um, let's go back to talking about Rust. Let's talk about Rust. So what do you know? What do you want to know about Rust? So what do you want to know about ferrum oxide? Oh, look at that! It's actually bigger. I think it kind of stretches it and like not really evenly. But yeah, this is like sort of fire projectiles. Yeah, they sort of animated. Well, but they are not directional. How does some steel don't rust? Um, if I remember correctly, with enough carbon, they have uh, they have different structure, and uh, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> um, yeah. Mm. They still ha uh, they still don't have type classes for higher uh, or even types. Yeah. Mm. All right, so you feel in comfy with CPP, aren't you? I don't really know what you mean. I'm just making things. I, I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's actually take a look at how all of that stuff will look like. Um, will look like in. Um, to, 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 to. Fire projectile, it's gonna be water projectile. <laughs> so, 
with the original projectiles they look okay right so but with the new ones they look kind of scuffed right they they look kind of scuffed and maybe this is something that we have to take into account maybe um maybe we just have to scale them um, um Mm. All right, so I think uh, we're gonna commit whatever we have here. Um, hello, three four, welcome. Two three four. Um, stretch the projectiles, and uh, we're gonna push that right into the ripper. Mm, we're gonna push that right into the ripus. Um, so maybe now I want to have like directional projectiles. Mm, yeah. So let's actually think, uh, see how we can do all of that. Um, so for directional projectiles, uh, what do we need to do? I don't think we need to do anything special because we have velocity. And velocity already tells us the angle of the projectile, right? It already tells us it tells the angle, and we can use that angle to rotate the projectile while rendering anything. Do you know TypeScript? Uh, never heard of it. Uh, what is it? You're asking about too many things that I don't know. I don't know why you ask uh, asking me these questions. Like, it's kind of strange, but I I don't know that. Um, alrighty. Mm, alrighty, alrighty. So let's make a small break, boys and girls. I really want to make a small break and refill my water because I'm um, I'm really thirsty right now. Uh, so let's make a small break uh, around maybe three minutes, maybe less. Uh, and uh spider so type script is the feature of emacs script uh, i know emacs i'm using emacs right now i think emacs is actually pretty cool uh all right it's a cool editor uh all right let's make a small break and uh, you guys have fun
Yo, what's up? Welcome back. How is everyone doing? Um, okay, that's cool. So, I don't really like the fact that uh, the projectile looks so scuffed, the fire one, right? It looks like stretched in uh, by like horizontally and uh, yeah it should be actually stretched proportionally but I don't know how to how to do that so and where to store the, the information about how to uh, you know scale it proportionally um, maybe it could be stored inside of the projectile entity itself that could be I think um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. So for now, what I want to focus on... Or maybe we can do it right now, why not? So um, we can have some sort of like a scale factor. Right, so here we have uh, different frame animations. So... Uh, and uh, we can have some sort of a scale factor for them. Because... Diff well, technically you can actually... You can actually just do that manually, <laughs> to be fair. I mean, why not? You can just do that manually. You can uh, st like uh, stretch it in a text, uh, in, not in a text editor, but in a uh, in an image editor of some sort. Uh, so why do you have to do that in a, in a code, right? So why do you have to complicate your code if you can just fix fix it like that? So I wonder, can you do that without sacrificing the quality? Will it? I uh, hopefully. Creator won't try to extrapolate the the pixels when it stretches them out, so we'll we'll actually see. We'll actually see. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. The winner gets a T. That's for sure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, boom. So, and where do we have the scale? Uh, scale image to new size. So I want the width to be a 40 and there we go. So, and it actually interpolated it, I think. I think it, yeah, and this is what I was actually scared of. Can you just not interpolate it? Uh, that would be super cool. But maybe it didn't. Let me, let me see. Nah. So image scale. Uh, by cube, okay nearest neighbor uh, mm -hmm. so i just need to notice that we had we had a filter here perfect this is what i want yes yes this is what i want uh it's not like it matters though right but yeah let's just save that oh shit! and now we have to regenerate the animations and stuff so um uh, it was in BMP. Why does it have transparency? I don't know. That's a good question, actually. Uh, maybe I used Image Magic uh, utility. Maybe Image Magic do did something about that. Uh, maybe they just assumed the the transparency color the uh, by, of the color of you know top left pixel or something. Sometimes it's a thing. BMP supports transparency. Ah, all right, very well then. Mm, I mean, if it supports like 32-bit pixels, that means it does support transparency. Um, mm -hmm. uh, two, 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 two. So, and that means if I go to the projectile, projectiles, I don't have to do that shite anymore, right? And then I can replace this thing with just pose. There we go. So assets, animats, and uh, uh, we don't have PHP and potatoes or something. Yeah, I know, it's it's sad, but it is what it is, and it isn't what it isn't. Um, so, so now I know the width, so I should be able to wait a fucking second. Uh huh. So this was originally this. Uh huh. Hmm. Um, so I'll have to go to the sprites and uh, we have a fireball. Fireball. So.
So the width is 40 and the height is 3 for 3 for 3 divided by uh, 5, right? Which is kind of strange, but I think it could work. Mm. All right, so and if I return these things, uh, it's still in un unparsable because, yeah, this is what you have to do here. Um, so is it really 3 for 3? God damn, it's actually... It really scaled it unevenly. Mm. And I lost the original image. It scaled it very unevenly. It's not divisible by 5 anymore. I should have actually scaled it so it's divisible by 5 somehow. But I goofed pretty hard. God damn. So we'll have to go back, boys and girls. We'll have to go back. I'm going to remove this thing. Uh, I'll have to remove this thing and I have to download that yet again. I just have to do that yet again. So, uh, the W get. So that's quite important. So then what we're doing, we're converting fireball to fireball uh, PNG. Like that. We're removing the original thing here. There we go. Open that shite in Krita. Mm. With a cute avatar. Hmm. It's pretty good. And let's go to the image. Uh, what was that? A scale image to new size. Uh, nearest neighbor. And I want to like width around 40. But at the same time, I want the height to be divisible by 5. So I'm going to adjust it like that. And you still kind of... Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And 3, 4, 5 is divisible by 5 because it ends with 5. All right. Does it? Oh my god, I forgot my school math. Yeah, okay. Oh shit! Look at that. That's perfect. That's exactly how we want to scale it. That's exactly how we want to scale it. Uh, Alright, and let's just save that. Nice, very nice. So I do not regret doing that again. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that. It doesn't doesn't this look lovely? I think it looks pretty lovely. Uh, the magic now. Exactly. Exactly. So, GHCI. And uh, width is 40. Height is uh, 69. 69 in. Uh, we iterate through these kind of things. And we're going to map all of that stuff. I. Uh, so uh, this is going to be that, and I multiplied by height, I suppose. This is essentially our sequence that we'll have to bring to the description. Uh, ta -da -ta -da -ta. So here is the description. I wonder if I can comment out things. I'm not sure if we support uh, comments there, but... So... Um, so what I'm going to remove here is going to be 40, 69. Uh -huh. And we'll have to go through each individual thing here. Um, 40, 69, 40, not 50, 40, 69, 40, 69, 40, 69. Uh, the coordinates now, 0, 0, 0, 69. 0, 1, 3, 8, uh, 2, 0, 7. Wait, why do I have... Isn't, like, this is 5, 0, 69, 3, 2, 0, 7. Oh, I, okay, I have this thing twice, Jesus Christ. Um, 0... Uh-huh, 0, 69. This is very error porn, to be fair. This is very error porn. Um, but what can I do about it? Mm, all right, so let's try to compile that and see if it's going to work now. Let us see, let us see. And uh, let's run the game. Let's run the game. And... 
Yeah, now you can actually see it a little bit better. Uh, but again, they are not directional. So this is one of the things that we probably want to enable for uh, projectiles is uh, directionless. Uh, Alright. Mm, 238. Is it 23? No, it's not 238, it's 34. Looks like torches. Yeah, exactly. This is because, well, you know, they're just vertical. Uh, uh, so now, remove projectile uh, scaling. Um, Uh, scale fireball PNG manually. Mm -mm. Do they emit light? It's actually a pretty interesting idea, but we don't even have a light system at all. Or yet. Uh, I do have a couple of ideas for light system for this game. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we have like imitation of a light system. Right. So you can see that the neighbor's room, neighbor room uh, that we're not in, they're sort of like dimmed out. And if you uh, go to them, they become brightened up. Uh, it's actually like a fake lighting system. So we have like a mask that's, you know, uh, layered on top of the, all of the tiles and stuff like that. And I think also uh, entities. Oh, entities don't get affected, but I think they should. I think we broke that at some point. Yeah. So we can try to use something like that with different masks and stuff. Um, maybe it will work, we'll see. Um, but yeah, maybe they will, at some point they will emit light. Who knows, who knows. Uh, okay, so how are we going to do that? Um, so we have a new mod. Mm. They used to be affected some months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, have you ever going into and out of that room? Uh, what? I actually go out of my room every break. I don't understand the question, Homiko. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Surging's backpack. Really? Oh, shit. I didn't notice that. Um. Mm -mm -mm. To have a gradient mask around and a light source. Yeah, sounds like a good idea, actually. Um. So I think we need to update how we uh, render frame animats, right? So we have frame animats. Comfy coach. Yeah, it is sort of comfy. It's actually yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Co uh, um, cozy. So what I'm thinking about is we might start accepting the um, the angle. The room with the enemy with the lighten up and fix it and render dimmed. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, right now we have a completely different problem, Hamiko. I'm sorry. I was just demonstrated what kind of problems we have in general. But uh, I'm not working on that. I'm working on uh, projectiles. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, that, that's why, yeah. It's outside of the scope of what I'm doing. It's too much context switching for me. I'm really sorry. Um, so, Sprite CPP. Uh, we eventually we're going to work on that. Oh, don't worry about it. We, we're eventually going to work on everything and we're going to fix everything. Just one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay. Oh, well, look, look at that. Look at that, we're already using the render copy exe. Nice. Uh, hey, Sergeant, you don't do Haskell content anymore? And uh, not really. Uh, really add multiplayer to the game? No, I won't add it. Mm -hmm. uh, two, 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 two. So, uh, what we're gonna, uh, what I wanna do here actually is I wanna introduce the angle. So, let's go ahead and introduce the angle. Uh, yeah, it's literally called angle and it's double actually. Animated sprites? Yes! Mm -mm. So, <laughs> uh, angle uh, initially is zero. Um, how, how did you know, by the way, that we're using animated sprites? Mm. Are you actually watching my streams? Is there somebody actually watching my stream? So oh my god! That's super cool. Super cool. Super epic. 
All right, so here we passing the uh, angle. Yeah, there we go. Is this a 2D sure? No, it's 3D. See, you see, you see the background. You see the background. It's 3D. So, how can you achieve this kind of background in 2D? You you cannot. It's 3D. Um. So angle. So then we can take an angle, and we're gonna actually put that angle here. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now the angle is customizable. How about that? Mm. To be quite fair, something is a better version of nothing already. Ah. It's just a couple of like slightly polished things here and there, and that's pretty much it. No declaration. All right. Uh, so, um, so why didn't it work? Why doesn't it match? Why don't you match? Because here's the double angle. Here's the double angle. Right. So I don't understand. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm blind. Oh, this is because it's a frame on your mat, I see. This is because it's a frame on your mat. I mean, Jiang, Jiang, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, so yeah, this is basically what we're gonna do here. And we're gonna accept the angle. Jiang Usama, welcome. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, good morning. Uh, no, no, no. What is it? Angle. It's angle. Angle. Mm -hmm. Double angle. And that's basically what we're passing there. Cool. Uh, will it work now? It kind of does. Would you? Uh, fuck me. All right. What do you want for me? No declaration matches surrender. Uh -huh, so that means I also have to go to the sprite H and find the struct sprite and also add that angle there. Uh, double angle zero. So I'm using default parameters, by the way, so you don't have to type too much. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Please compile. Oh shit, why are you not compiling? But because of the comma, of course. Uh, who fucking cares about the future? Did I say that? To what the fuck? God damn. Um, <laughs> apparently I did in fact say that. Uh, so let's actually go to projectiles yet again. So how can you compute the angle of uh, a vector? I think you have to use something like A10 too. Uh, I think. Mm. Yeah, you need something like A10 too. So A10 was so good, they made A10 too. Uh, mm. So, where is the rendering? So, and we have to actually provide a shit ton of parameters now, to be fair. I'm not happy about that. Uh. First Y and then X, and, but this is because the it's a A10 of uh, division of Y over X, as far as I know. <laughs> uh, all right, so then we have to do SDL flip, um, uh, flip none. So this one is going to be zero zero zero, and uh, the angle is going to be A10 two, velocity Y, velocity X, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, opposite over adjacent, yes. You do remember that. God damn. Mm. All right. So let's see if it uh, does anything. It doesn't. Ah, uh, it literally doesn't do anything. What the fuck? Did I not pass properly? It's kind of. It's kind of sad, not gonna lie. It's kind of sad, not gonna lie. Ah, because I have to do that on both of the sides when it's poofed and what. It's really strange. 
Is it did it really compile though? I'm actually actually not sure. So we'll probably we'll have to do a little bit of debugger wagga. Just to see what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's do debugger wagga. Um so it's gonna be GDB, something debug. Something debug, and we're gonna break projectile. Projectile. Uh, render. I'm gonna run this thing. Uh, did it already break? Ah, fuck. I mean, that could be okay, I suppose. No, it's not okay. Uh, I think we can do better. I think we need to actually put it somewhere like here. Uh, so it's gonna be something, projectile, CPP, uh, 30. There we go, then we're gonna run it. And since we don't have any active projectiles, it's not gonna render anything, so we're gonna... Now it hit the breakpoint, and let's take a look at what we have here, boys and girls. All right, so I'm gonna step into the thing, and it actually, yeah, it, it went into a different function. Uh, okay. To screen, to wrong one. Ah, uh, god damn it! Uh, uh, how can I step into the right function now? Oh, god damn it! It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Um, LL, LLDB is still better, but I remember LLDB like had like performance problems with LDV, I, that I make me stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, when I was trying to actually view, like watch a lot of variables, it, uh, it really, you know, was super slow. Mm. Don't you need to compile to live in first? Um, all right, so how can we even do that? Maybe I can just log this shit. Let's just log it and see if it's... Maybe I don't understand what I'm doing. Could be the case. So let's just log this shit. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. Oh, this is not what I mean. Uh, debug? Alright. So yeah, there... Wait a second, is it... Aren't they degrees? <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, is that how we do that? I think. Oh, it's a, it's actually double. Uh -huh. mm. In the good type systems, you'll have degrees kind of wrapper. Yeah, exactly. Oh shit, look at that. They're directional now. <laughs> you see? They're directional. Yeah, I know pre precedence and st stuff like that, uh, and also associativity. Uh, uh, what do you want from me? I mean, streaming and programming is hard. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I see it now. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay I see what you mean on that. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I think another thing we have to do here, boys and girls, we need to actually subtract uh, 90 degrees. What is 90 degrees? 
uh, it's a half of a pi if I remember correctly. So it's going to be a pi multiplied by this thing. So it's a half of a pi. We'll have to subtract that, and I think it's going to be in the right direction. Essentially, yeah. Uh, half of a pi. Half of a pi. Oh yeah, chat. Are you ready? Are you ready for an epic first try moment? Ah, oh, fuck me. Wait. That that was not a, that was not correct try. Okay, that was not the correct try. Um, that was not the correct try. Okay. Okay. Um. So. Look at that first try! Oh my god! Epic! God Kuder! Actually, God Kuder! That's super epic! Mine got... Uh, they look actually pretty cool! And what's funny is that I think everyone is using these projectiles now? Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, <clears throat> so, let's do a committee committee and maybe then even uh, pushy pushy. How about that? How about that? So we'll probably need to get rid of this shit, of course. We need to get rid of this shit. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, he's just like yes. <laughs> I'm just lucky. Like, them. I just randomly pressed keys on my keyboard and I'm so lucky that it turned out to be uh, actually source code for a game that works. Are fireballs fly through the wall? No, they're not. They get stuck there for a little bit, but they don't usually go through that. Okay, so 2, 3, 4, make projectiles, uh, tiles directional. Um, Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. You both got net split on IRC. Well, congrats, I suppose. <laughs> uh... Uh, did you get separated with your bot? I mean, probably the bot in the same network, so... Mm. Uh, can we have a different kinds of gun with different kinds of project? But this is passing by. You won't believe what we're doing right now. You won't believe what we're doing right now. We're doing exactly that. Oh my god. What a coincidence. This is exactly the issue that we're doing right now. We're trying to introduce more different kinds of projectiles. Thank you. Thank you for asking that. You're so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Right. So it's kind of it's kind of weird that uh uh, does it does it log them? Does it see? Okay, it doesn't log them. Okay, so now uh, once we committed all of that, we need to think uh, how we're gonna represent all of this stuff. Do we have weapons? I think we do have the, the notion of weapon. Uh, yeah, we have a numeration called weapon. So this can be a gun. Uh, <clears throat> This one is interesting. How do we even handle that? Oh, nice formatting, by the way. Uh, okay, so first of all, this is not a gun, right? This is not a gun. This is supposed to be um, water. It's not really, it doesn't really look like water. Uh, machine gun, no. We're not gonna have machine gun. I'm really sorry, potato passing by, but it is what it is. Uh, so weapon, uh, gun, water, flamethrower. Well, we kind of have already flamethrower. Uh, water. Mm. So here's another water. ECS, we don't really have ECS. Well, we, we, we're slowly moving towards it, but I do not explicitly uh, code ECS. Mm. 
So stats, water. Uh, maybe I should actually just use like a global replace and don't, you know, torture myself. That's because you're a data-driven programmer. I have no idea what the fuck that means. Oh, it's a it's a game development meme. Yeah, I, I recognize that game development meme. You know, data orientation stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so um, what's funny is this. Uh, so render player HUD. Um, so I'm gonna actually commit this thing. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Water, uh, actually, weapon, weapon, gun, uh, weapon, water. There we go. I'm gonna push that right into the Reaper shot. I'm gonna push that right into the Reaper. Uh, so, the next thing I wanted to do, I wanted to like literally introduce a new kind of weapon. Um, so, where is it gonna be? A num weapon. A num weapon. So here's the water, and here we're gonna have weapon fire. So and let's see how many places this shit is going to be uh, breaking. Mm. But water doesn't hurt. Well, have you heard about water cutters? Mm, so, when we're doing one of these things, when we're rendering... Aha! So, uh, in this case, we can just do case weapon fire. So, in this particular case, it should do nothing. Is the project projectile going to be like a water cutter? Almost. Pretty close, uh, uh, I would say. Alright, so what we're doing here is... So, entity shoot. When you're shooting an entity, you spawn a projectile. Okay, so this is where we want to actually make uh, the changes, right? Um, portal gun when? Uh, well, tomorrow. We're going to work on that tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right, so here's the thing. I want to modify this function. And I want it to accept uh, projectile instead of uh, this uh, entire nonsense. So it's going to be projectile, uh, projectile, um, and it's going to just assign that projectile there. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and let's see how it's going to go. All right. So, um, it didn't really complain much, though. That's kind of funny. Um... Uh, can you say what was that again? I'm talking about that box. I have no idea what you're talking about, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> so, water projectile. So this is how we're gonna do that. Yeah, so you create a water projectile and you spawn it into the world and that's it. Uh, in case of a fire, in case of a fire, what you're gonna do? Uh, water, fire. You're gonna just spawn a fire projectile, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, box of Pandora. Ah, that's what you're talking about. No matching function for call spawn projectile project. Ah, this is because I forgot to update the thingy. Uh, yep. Uh, spawn projectile. So instead of this shite, we're gonna do projectile. 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 And let's just recompile this thing. Uh, that box that you search inside it. Ah, this thing. Ah, I see what you're talking about. It's um, it's an extension for Emacs, but the problem is that I don't remember which one. And I'm not even joking right now, seriously. Uh, you can check out my dot files, and uh, there is a configuration for my Emacs there, and. Maybe that will help you. I think uh, it's it's actually complicated. So the extension is called Helm. 
Right, it's a hel yeah, it's a helm grab, but on top of that, I think I use also helm git grab. So it's an extension for extension for Emacs, right? So helm uh, helm git grab is an extension for helm, and helm itself is extension for Emacs. So <laughs> I'm not even joking; it is like that actually. So welcome to Emacs, uh, and I think this is what I use. Um, so basically, it's a wrapper around a git command called git grab. Uh, right, so a git grab essentially just grabs in the files uh, of your git repo. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> it uses yeah, it also uses git ignore files, which is pretty convenient. Um, uh, two, 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 two. All right, cool. So it seems to be working. It seems to be twerking, I would even say. And I think it actually depends. Okay, so we have a new thing here. Uh, and I can switch to this one. Oh shit, that's actually super cool. So I can now switch between them. Uh, yeah. Okay, so if I have these things, I can kill them with that, but I can cannot kill them with fire, right? Fire does not affect them. Fire does not affect dirt. But if I have ice, fire does affect ice. So, because it melts it. So, you see, we have different kinds of tiles and different kinds of projectiles. And uh, projectiles can be only destroyed with a particular uh, type of uh, project projectiles. Mm, so, but it's not particularly finished, right, because, uh, well, we didn't finish it. Um, so we have weapon stats, so it's a weapon stat. Uh, dirt block, ice block. Uh -huh, so the next thing we have to do here is essentially, uh, yeah, similarly to a uh, water block. I just have to put it like that. Mm-hmm. So this one is gonna be uh -huh. fire. And instead of projectile idle animat, we're gonna have projectile fire animat, and we're gonna just take this thing here. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Uh alright, so and now as you can see the, the uh, projectile here has the uh the icon, right? So we have that, we also have that, and you can switch between all of that. So that's pretty cool. And I think uh, we also need to handle like key, as your key three. Okay, so we'll have to add four. <clears throat> so case as your key four. Uh, yep, 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 yep. So entities, uh, player, entity index, current weapon is going to be weapon uh, fire. So weapon fire, let's just try to recompile that. And it seems to be working quite well, I gotta say. I gotta say that it seems to be working quite well. And if I press four. So if I spawn an enemy, if I spawn an enemy, so they're using that, uh, but I can... Okay, cool. Um... So we have different kinds of projectiles and stuff like that. Cool. I wouldn't expect that to be actually working that well. What the fuck? <clears throat> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, all right. So let's do the following thing. Two, three, four. Um, introduce fire weapon. Right. I'm going to push that right to the three bomb. Uh, cheers, by the way. <clears throat> um, and I think we are ready to make a pull request because uh, we did exactly uh, as required by the scope of the issue. Energy weapon next. Well, I want to kind of create like a balanced system, right? So we have uh, different tiles and there are different kinds of project projectiles that can uh, destroy them. So what kind of projectiles are destroyed by energy uh, weapon? So we need to think about that. I'm trying to like build a, like a coherent uh, game design, 
right? And I think like I want each element to fit well into the whole system, right? I just don't want to throw random things into the game. Um, so we'll see. And keep in mind that I'm not a game designer, so <laughs> maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hmm. So. Mm -mm -mm. So let's create uh, a pull requestus. So, and what we were doing here, um, separate. Uh, okay. So, introduce fireball uh, projectiles. Close two, three, four. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, what's up, Jane? Welcome back. Did you make a coffee? Code is love. Code is life. Mm. Jane, wanna see what we did? So now we have an epic system. Uh, now we have an epic system. Look, uh, we have two kind of different pro projectiles, like the water ones. It doesn't really look like a water, but I mean, it's blue. And also the fire ones. So, uh... So we have dirt blocks and we have ice. This is this is not an ice block, but yeah. So ice blocks. So look, ice blocks are not destroyable by water. It doesn't destroy them. But uh, you can use water to destroy uh, dirt blocks. And uh, with fire, fire does not destroy dirt. It doesn't do anything to dirt, but it does destroy uh, ice. So yeah, essentially, uh, depending on the situation, Right, depending on the situation, you have to shield yourself with different blocks and use different projectiles to actually penetrate through the blocks. So, and we also have different kinds of like mobs. Uh, we have a uh, dirt golem, which is probably not going to be uh, vulnerable to fire projectiles, right? It's not going to be vulnerable to fire projectiles. And we have ice golems and stuff like that, that, that is probably going to be vulnerable to all, uh, only to um, fire projectiles. So you'll have to always make a choice. Will TNT be added? Uh, I don't think ex uh, specifically TNT, but I think something explosive would be actually producing. Uh, can you organize it so weapons are always on top? Yeah, probably I can. Uh, so, but that will require a couple of changes uh, that are not affected by the compilation. <laughs> so, it kind of makes me sad. But maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Yeah, I think I should be able to change the order quite easily. So let me find a num weapon. Let me find a num weapon. Uh, and uh, let's see how it's gonna go. So probably it's not gonna like completely break. Um, let's see how it goes. All right. Okay, it, it's actually worked better than I expected. But uh, god damn it. And yeah, so I still have to do proper mappings there. Still have to do the proper mappings. So essentially, I need to find a place where we do this kind of thing. You see, um, yeah. One of the things we can try to do, we can try to take this symbol and check if it's digit and just check if it's within this range or something like that. So it's easier to switch between them. But I'm not quite sure, not quite sure. Okay, so first is uh, uh, this one. The second is going to be fire. So unfortunately, like this kind of stuff, I have to order myself. Uh, I'm not sure how to make it better. Mm -hmm. Go for dark and light elements uh, next time because they're easier to balance. Uh, I don't know what you mean. You mean brightness or something? I don't quite understand. Uh, Wait a second, I'm trying to see if it's possible to do something like this. Like, and just follow. Huh. Oh, and we're not updating the mouse movement uh, when the camera moves, so this is actually a separate bug. I would like to actually be able to keep, like, uh, blocks in front of them and just move, and they'll automatically, uh, you know, fill everything up. That would be actually super cool, in my opinion. But you can do this kind of stuff, which is cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Dropper, you, you already implemented that. But we're gonna probably merge that. Maybe we should merge it, like, uh, right now, because it's kind of relevant to what we're doing. Um, Alright. 
two, three, four. Mm, so the ink was dream confirmed. Yes. I am the dream. Have you seen how lucky I am when I'm coding? I must be dream. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, reorder. Uh, reorder. Uh, weapons uh, in HUD. And let's push that right into the Reaper. <clears throat> Alright, uh, you in Kolobetka, I see. Mm -hmm. So let's just wait uh, until the continuous integration is done. And the next step I want to do, the next step I want to do, I want to actually. Um, Yeah, I want to take a look at your pull request. Uh, menu. This is not what I want, but... Insights... Oh, this is not uh, this is not convenient. Okay, so if I do something like this... Where's the menu? Like, I don't care about activity. Uh, there was like a list of all of these things, and th did they remove that? Did they change the interface and shit? <sighs> oh, it's add cards. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. Uh, update mouse position when camera moves. Okay, so I'm gonna schedule it for right now. <laughs> uh, for a second I thought that maybe they uh, updated UI yet again, and I have to deal with that. Uh, fortunately, I don't have to. They didn't really update much. Um, it's just me being Pepega yet again. Mm -hmm. So we're just waiting for continuous integration. Once continuous integration is done, we're gonna merge everything and we're gonna move on to something else. Mm -hmm. So I'm sponsored by some crazy action movie, cool ads. Thank you, I handpicked them myself. Actually, no, that's a joke. Uh, I don't control what kind of ads you receive, but I do control uh, when you can receive them, right? I do have control over that. For example, I have a special button that makes, uh, uh, you know, Twitch run a 30 seconds ad. Do you, wanna, do you want me to press it? There we go. Here's an ad for you. Thank you for the money. <laughs> I don't know if it works for the majority of people because I suppose the majority of people use uh, like an ad block or something. Um... <laughs> Nothing happened because, I, maybe because you're a subscriber, because as far as I know, if you sub, you don't get ads. Um, all right, so I think this thing is already done and uh, yep. we're good uh, to go, uh, we're good to go. Nothing happened even though I don't have an ad block. I wonder if this is because you're VIP. Shouldn't, yeah, shouldn't be the case because it's about money that Twitch gets, so. Mm hmm. By the way, um, so as far as I know, Twitch ads are regional, so regional. So maybe sometimes in a particular region, they just don't know what to advertise to you. And maybe that's why you may not get any ads. I don't know. I don't really know how they, their ad system works. Um, mm -hmm. I want bratwurst uh, ads. What is bratwurst? Some sort of a sausage? Uh, Alright, so I think we are ready to go. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, pull request. Uh, the best sausage. Ah, I see. Cool. Uh, I, only, I know only one best sausage and this is a doctor sausage. 
Uh, anyway, update mouse position when camera moves. Let's take a look at this pull request uh, submitted by Droko and Columbetkin. So, despite the fact that I'm not an SDL expert or C++ actress, this PR fixed the problem described in 2.5.9. Nice. I basically copied and pasted the solution described here. Um, still in code, by the way, but have you checked the license of that code? Will that license pollute our code base? Mm? I'm just joking, by the way. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, will be good if others could test uh, to see if this PR uh, really fixes the problem without uh, breaking other parts of the game. It works, but currently it doesn't take into account padding when you have different aspect ratios. Uh, looks like you need to detect uh, in what direction aspect ratio is bigger and scale up properly. Why do I really need to do that, actually? I don't quite understand. Uh... Mm -hmm. Should I use Vars to build e-commerce uh, website from scratch? Yes, go ahead. Uh, cool, let's check it out. Uh, let's take a look at the code. Mm. So update, get mouse position, we remove that. Map mouse position and push away. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, all right. Mm. You don't need to scale height in this situation. Why do we even have to do... Okay. Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, yeah, I think I'm starting to remember. Uh, I'm starting to recover the context. Mm -mm. So, let's actually fetch everything from all of the remotes. Mm. <clears throat> What's up? Welcome back. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay, we're fetching everything. Mm. So, we already received everything. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. Ah, <sighs> two five nine, two five nine. Okay, so I already have two five nine, so I should remove it here. Uh, yeah, let's let's remove. Yes, yes, please delete it. Please delete it. Please don't ask questions. Oh my god, don't ask questions. Please just delete it. Okay. Uh, this thing. Let's take a look at it, and let's rebuild it. Let's rebuild it. <laughs> Don't ask no question, just delete it, yes. Uh, Alright, so does it work now? Oh shit! Oh shit! You actually removed the MA tag from. No, I didn't do anything to the phone. No, it's still there. It's just Twitch being Twitch. I mean, AMA, uh, AMA does not imply that you're gonna get uh, the answer you wanna hear. <laughs> so, um, so the reason why I wanted to have that uh, is because now we should be able to do shit out. It, it moves too fast, actually, unfortunately. Um, but it's it's kind of it's kind of yeah close. Um, let me try to do that. Mm. Okay, then Emacs is legally allowed to ask you questions. Emacs, can you show the issue also if it's fixed? Uh, you can check it out. The issue number is 259. You can go to the source code of the project and find that issue there. You're welcome. All right. So I want to try a trick with this kind of thing. So I need to go to the edge. The edge is actually too too fucking far. Okay, so so here it is. So now what we can do, we can do these kind of things, right? So uh, I should be able to slowly like move forward 
uh, right, slowly move forward. And I don't even move my mouse, but it automatically builds everything for me. So this is what I'm this is what I'm trying to do. So now with this kind of change, this kind of trick is possible. And I think it's pretty cool. So if I reset somewhere here, uh, maybe go somewhere here. Maybe I will be able to get across some particular thing like that super easily. And it just makes it like super easy to do. But I wish I could understand the solution. So let me let me take a look at the solution. So we don't set, so we don't do this thing. Uh, all right. Get mouse state. So we have a spec ratio. And is it is it even correct? Like in any aspect ratio? It is actually correct. That was a dead code. Ah, I see. It was just a dead code. Uh, Alright, so we accept the window, we get the mouse Y uh, window size, uh, aspect ratio, we get aspect ratio, if it's, uh, and we have two situations. Okay, let's actually consider only one situation. As, so, SDL event motion. Uh, so where do we get the SDL event? Excuse me? What the fuck is this deal event? Uh, okay, okay, here this is, so we're constructing a new SDL event. Uh, we also set the type, SDL motion, blah, blah, blah. And then we push event. And how often, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's a pretty cool solution, I think. Uh, yeah, 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 so I see, and we basically generate an event on, okay, so this is basically what we initially wanted to do, I suppose, but do we really need to generate event? Like, I mean, we could have set um, the mouse position, like, we could have, like, leave, uh, keep track of the mouse position inside of the game, right, and instead of sending, uh, sending this event, we could have could have just set uh, the mouse position for the game every time. So let me actually try to adapt that to, uh, like, I think it would be faster in some sense. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to adapt this thing. So we already have mouse position, right? We already have a mouse position. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so uh aids dot hpp yes it's a, a replacement for c plus plus yeah thank you for for mm -hmm. Oh my god, stop asking questions. I hate when Emacs asks questions. Oh my god. Uh, so here is what we're doing, right? So here is what we're doing. Mm, take a mouse position. So do we uh, set the mouse position to anything? Position to anything. Anywhere. So this is the only place where we set it, uh, which is understandable. So, but we want to save that. But I want to save that. <clears throat> uh huh, uh huh. So this is a collision probe, and everything looks okay. So now I'm gonna go to the main. Uh, I hope I don't have to like revert that. And now, what about we accept here not the window, but maybe we do need to accept the window. Do we need to accept the window? Yeah, we do need to accept the window. So this is actually totally fine. But we also can accept the game itself. Right. We also can accept the game itself. And instead of sending the event, why not we just set the mouse position right into the game on each frame? Let's just do that. Like, I mean, we don't have to go through the whole event system. We can just set mouse position there. Can we not? I think, I think we could. Um, so, um, I'm going to remove this thing. Um, tu, tu, tu. 
and we're gonna go through all of this stuff and I wonder if it's gonna work uh, and we don't need to push anything here <laughs> all right uh, all right all right uh, now let's just try to recompile that isn't it to fix the scaling bug in SDL yes but what sure but how does the fact has anything to do with what I'm doing excuse me uh, I'm not changing the solution I'm just making a shortcut so it's not doesn't have to go through the event system like okay yes it's true you're not wrong uh, but how does it have anything to do with what I'm doing right now what I'm doing right now is not changing the solution per se I'm changing the way we um, we deliver information to the right place like it's not about the information it's about the delivery of information you see you see what i'm talking about yeah hope okay um so um there we go cool uh and here we'll have to so this is a motion y uh, and you also just truncate. Oh my goodness. Alright. So uh, let's put it like that. Uh, so this is basically a review. This is my review. So I'm just going through these things and just fixing up everything. And I'm also going to fix up the style. Um, why are you not using Mesh Shader to optimize the rendering? <laughs> I don't have a graphics card for my shooters. I'm sorry. I wish I could use them, but I cannot use them. Um, so we probably also need to have like motion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, motion X. So this is that. So we can hire our floats already, so multiply by that, and after that I want to floor them. I want to floor the chat. Mm, can we get floors in the chat, please? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well... Old man, and you were making fun of my, you know, of my code. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, everyone is Pepega sometimes, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone is Pepega sometimes. Thank you for floor for me, thank you, thank you, chat. Um, so, this one is gonna be that, int motion uh, floor. Yeah, remembering like the presidents of the of the operators is hard sometimes. So uh, I wonder how many mistakes I made here. So you know what? I'm gonna actually move this kind of stuff here. So maybe we're gonna have like a motion x uh, zero and motion y equals zero, and we don't have to do that. Scheiße! Why keep Why keep I saying? Uh, I don't know why. Germans, could you please explain me how did you manage to come up with such a satisfying word to say? Like scheisse. How did you manage to come up with it? It's just a... <laughs> it's so pleasant to pronounce for some reason. Um... <clears throat> I'm sorry, Funk Chi, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Feel free, uh, feel free to say Sukoblat as a uh, as a revenge. Um, yeah. So you get the Suka Sukoblat pass. Arschloch. I don't even know how to pronounce that. To be fair, uh, let let me actually go to uh, yeah. Uh, so this is German. Arschloch. 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 Nice. I like it as well. Um, 
<clears throat> Soon I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna speak uh, fr uh, French German fluently. Uh, yeah. So I hope I'm not doing too much of a fucky wacky right now. Uh, Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. So and after that, after that, we're gonna straight up set uh, set game mouse position mouse position, and we also need a camera apparently. Okay, sure. Uh, we also need a camera. Uh, and then. Yeah, boy, boy. Cool. Uh, so, but we we have a camera inside of the game, so it's not that big of a deal, I think. So we can do ga uh, game camera. Cool. Arschloch. Uh, okay, semicolon. So we're also gonna go through a couple of places. Okay, so in here, when I call this thing, uh, I also have to provide a pointer to the game. Right. So will that work? Will that work? That's a good question. Will that work? I'm really curious. I'm really curious. Okay. Ah. Uh... Doesn't really work. Yeah, I see. Well, but does that. Yeah, it doesn't work because it uh, does need uh, an event generated there because of uh, how it's implemented. Okay, so to implement it the way I want it, to implement it the way I want it, it's actually more effort than I thought. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, merge it as it is. So yeah, I was just hoping that maybe we can circumvent uh, the uh, event system so we don't have to go through it all the time. But uh, I think that will require like, you know, additional reworking of the code. So I'm gonna just accept it. Um, all right, so. Droka uh, column looks good to me. Uh, thank you for your contribution. Contribution. Boom. And uh, we're gonna merge that. How about that? So, uh, let's take a look. Mm, so that means we're done with that. Did we close that issue? Uh, Alright, so we need to close that issue as well. Means. Uh, well, I mean, I didn't report that, so uh, should be addressed by uh, 273. Please close the, uh, the issue if it works for you on the latest version. There we go. Yeah, thank you so much for working on that. That was actually pretty cool. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate all of the uh, contributions because they help me a lot. Because my project, my, usually my projects are extremely ambitious and uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't mind like additional help from, from people. Uh, all right, so... Uh... Today was an intense stream, so I'm a little bit tired already, boys and girls. Will I ever start consistently streaming for four hours? Consistently streaming for four hours is goddamn hard. So yeah, boys and girls, it is time for me uh, to go. It is time for me to go. Thanks everyone <laughs> for watching me right now. I really appreciate that. Have a good one. And I see you tomorrow. <coughs> Uh, tomorrow, according to the schedule, we are doing the same thing. We continue working on this game because we are working on the games for the whole weekend. Also, check out our schedule page um, for more information on different projects we're working on. Uh, for archive 
of the streaming recordings, check out our special Woods YouTube channel. Uh, for offline discussion with the community, check out our Discord server. All right, so, and while you're waiting for continuation of an epic game development, how about we go ahead and raid somebody? Mm -hmm. Isn't that, doesn't that sound epic? Who should we rate? Who should we rate? Uh, so, who's streaming right now? Uh, Osu. <laughs> Forcing. Uh, so, ICPC are you. So, it's a Russian, like, ICPC preparation or something. I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at the science and technology section. Science and technology. So, who do we have here? Uh... To the two, uh, nom, the developer nom or something. Uh, streaming code forces round six eight two. Oh, are you guys into competitive programming? Because I am. Uh, I'm kind of like competitive programming. Stay with an even number of ones. Or... Oh, oh shit! They even explain in everything what they're doing in English. So I, I really want to read them. Um, yeah, competitive programming is definitely for not uh, not for everyone. It's like chess, right? So it's kind of by itself, it's kind of useless. But some people enjoy it as the recreational activity. So uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, get ready for the raid, boys and girls. Get ready for the raid. And I see you all tomorrow. I see you all tomorrow. Love you all. Mwah.